you have to think of every stroke like a breath. You would never uh, be like, <laughs> you know, you do, do not do that. So, so he's, uh, and then the left hand is doing <laughs> these things, but it's on this release. <laughs> that we need to talk about is you are sort of not really in the string sometimes. Every time you play, uh, you could say, more dulcet things, you tend to lift a little and be out. But there's another way. Uh, we, in, in this, this sort of approach you have then is a lot of activity, but you are making it less audible by being, instead of here, you now. But you can also be less active, but be down there. Uh, you know what I mean? And in the end, it's easier, uh, but also usually it does produce a deeper sound, like a sound that projects more in the hole and all, all those things, right? Well, I, I, I believe in uh, economizing. And my, I'm, I'm trying to get the most out of the least, you know? And of course, it's very hard to say, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> you know, it would be nice to do less and get more, right? I think when you want to uh, emphasize something, you don't need to yell. You just need to emphasize, you know? So could you think about that, uh, those two things? Uh, could you be a little more connected to the string? But uh, I think there's this misconception in general that to create a sound that do is not like, you know, we need to be out. No, you just need to play it like this. Uh, you know, I'm playing with, with weight, but I just put less weight. And we, we work then with how many kilos do we put into the string and what is the bow speed? So do we play slow bow speed? Then it's going to sound uh, deeper. And if I play fast bow speed, it, right? Also the emotion we talked about, uh, how uh, it can feel like we're fighting a war, you know, when we play. Uh, because we, there's so much going through the system. Can you just be simpler, you know? Okay.